sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 18 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bandai Figure Eye Standard Dragon Ball Super Broly movie version Super Saiyan Broly. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So we do get the basic style box when it comes to the Figure Eye Standard line. So in the center on the front of the box here we do get a cool image of Broly on the top says the movie Dragon Ball Super Broly Figure Eye Standard and we do get the Toei Animation sticker and then on the bottom here says Plastic Model Kit Super Saiyan Broly Full Power and Bandai. And then here is the bottom of the box with a bunch of really cool images of the figure all built and complete there. Then here is the top of the box. It does show like how the figure gets put together and stuff. Shows the other figures in this line. Then it does have a little bio so if you'd like to read that you could pause right now and read it on up. And then here is the one side of the box with the cool image of the model kit all built there. Then the other side does have a cool image of Broly. Then the back has nothing on it at all. But anyway that is the packaging. Let's get this model kit open and build it real quickly so we can take a closer look at the new updated better version of Broly. And right when you open the box we do get the instruction manual on how to build this model kit and then we do get all the parts and pieces and bags and if you would like to check out my speed build video it'll pop up right around here but anyway let's continue on. Alrighty take it a closer detailed look and figure I standard did do a very nice job with this Broly and I'm pretty satisfied with how it turned out. Now there's no paintwork on these figures so we can't go over that and you can't fault them for not having paintwork on their model kits like shading or having something painted you know what I mean but I mean I, like I said I, I like the way it turned out it does look like Broly from the movie the hair sculpt probably one of my favorite things about the figure does have some nice sculpting to it, as you can see there. And the faces, like I said, do look like Broly. And I love the way you make the faces, how it's a yellow part and a white part. And you connect them all and then put it on the face there. You even get some sculpt work on the face. And then you do get the sticker for the scar right there. And you got to make sure you put it on perfectly because there is a little sculpted part in there. Just like with the chest, how that's sculpted. The rest of the scars, there's no sculpting and dents to it. You just put them on wherever pretty much and I, and I do like the way the, uh, the the torso and everything turned out like the muscle definition I think it looks pretty cool the way you connect the pieces there and the sculpt it turned out nice on the torso same with on the arms it's a nice sculpt all throughout it and it, it just looks cool the way you connect the pieces and make the figure especially on the back that looks dope some people might not like the way it looks because there's a bunch of gaps or some parts might not be fully connected so you see a little bit of like openings there you know what I mean the elbow joints look pretty good too. Uh, we do get his skirt piece, which is a pelt, I believe it was called. And it actually looks really nice. It looks like they're shading on it the way the plastic is. So, I mean, that, that actually worked pretty good. And the sculpt of it turned out really nice. I just hate the way the sticker looks up here. I would have preferred them to figure out like, like a beige piece you, you connect on there or something. Now, I do have... A few issues with the figure my main one is the left leg where you connect the pieces and connect it to the crotch it keeps popping off in two different spots too like if you articulate the legs a little crazy I guess trying to get them in certain poses they're gonna fall off but then there's another piece in there where it keeps disconnecting and it's really irritating the hell out of me and now I can't even like move the leg really without it popping off so that is definitely an issue right there another minor issue is when you move around the bicep swivel, sometimes the arms will pop off, but you just pop them right back in, so it's really not that big of a deal. The leg, though, the left one, is a big issue for me. Uh, now, the legs look really good. Very nice sculpt on the muscle definition, as you can see there. Same with on the back. And then he does have a hole in his butt, but that is for the stand. And then the lower legs and the boots turned out pretty good. I like the way those turned out, then you do get his big clown feet there so you can't really fault the figure companies because that is how his feet did look so don't fault figure eyes or sh figure arts for giving him big feet now if you are a customizer or you know how to do some paint work i would say add like a shading or a wash on this figure it would really make it look that much better on your shelf and me personally i'm not the biggest fan of the plastic you use for model kits to me it feels like it's a bit cheap and I feel like they can break easily, so just be careful with your figures. But overall, I think Figure Eyes did do an awesome job with this model kit and the sculpt and everything. The way you connect the pieces, I think, turned out really nice. But anyway, 
let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, this Broly is pretty much included with the same accessories we got with their original Broly. So what we do get with this version, we do get four interchangeable faces. So we do get two for Broly, and then we do get one for Goku in blue form, and same with Vegeta. So for Broly's faces, starting on the bottom left, we do get like a yelling, screaming face, which is definitely my favorite out of the two. And then on the right, we do get a more exaggerated yelling, screaming face, or an even more pissed off Broly, and I do wish they included a basic stern face with this Broly, but I, I think they did a great job with the sculpt, and then adding on the sticker for the scar looks pretty cool, then you have to add on the sticker on the tongues as well, but like I said many, many times before, I love the way you connect all the pieces to make the faces for these figure eyes Dragon Ball model kit figures. So we do get those two faces for Broly, then we do get a Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta face, and you can use those faces either on the older Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta, or the newer ones that either just released or are about to release. And it's just like the original figureized model kit Broly that we got before, but that time we got the Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta faces. And we get some nice sculpt throughout the Goku and Vegeta face there and I'm going to show you how to swap all the faces right now besides Vegeta because I don't have them. And the way you swap the faces for Broly is pretty simple and basic for the figure eyes line so you do have to remove the top part of his hair just pull up kind of wiggle it back and forth because it does peg in very securely you just remove the face and then you just peg the other one in as you can see those wide pegs you just peg it wide peg holes sorry you just peg that on and then you just take the hair and peg that back in and there you go as simple as that so that's how you swap Broly's faces now for Goku and like I said I don't have Vegeta so I can't show you that and for Goku pretty much same thing but the front of his hair you pull forward and it pops right off and you just pull the face off line up the part peg that in like that and then just peg the hair back on and then there you go as simple as that so we do get those four alternate faces and then we also get this piece for the stand. Now, Broly is not included with a stand, but I'm sure if you collect these figures, you got a bunch of these stands lying around, and you just peg this into his butt like so, and then you connect the other piece to the stand. So if you want to put him, put him in flight poses or something like that. So we do get that, and then we finally get four alternate hands. And starting on the top here, we do get a pair of fists, of course, and then we do get the open or key blast type hands. The only thing I don't like about the figure eyes hands is the side of the fists. There's no sculpt work on them and they just look really cheap and lame, you know what I mean? So I'm really not happy about the way those turn out, but it's very simple to swap his hands. But anyway, that is all the accessories included with this version of Broly. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review, shall we? Now for the height of one of my favorite vegetables to the very top of his head. It looks like he's about 7 inches and 3 quarters of an inch tall. Then to the very top of his spiky Super Saiyan hair, it looks like he's a little over 9 inches tall. And then here he is compared to the Figure Eye Standard Super Saiyan Blue Goku and the Ultra Instinct Goku and the SH Figure Arts Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku and the 2.0 Vegeta. And he could definitely work with Figure Arts. He's just a little big. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Nappa, the San Diego Comic Con Broly, the Infinity War Hulk, and the Storm Collectibles Goro. And he's actually about the same size as the SH Figure Arts Broly, just a little bit taller. As you can clearly see. And then here he is compared to the Storm Collectible Smoke, the SH Figure Arts Sage Mode Naruto, the Mefex Justice League Batman, and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Awaken Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the articulation, and some points of articulation are really good, while other points are really bad. So we do have two joints at the neck here, so the upper neck is a ball peg. You can get Broly really to not look up much, it gets hindered by his hair of course. You can get him to look down a tiny bit with the upper neck. It does pivot a little bit there, and it does also swivel. The lower neck here is just a hinge, so it really just moves forward, it doesn't go back at all. So with both joints, you can get him to look directly down. Now for the torso here, we do have a torso and a waist joint. The waist joint, you can really only use it for swivel, as you can see right there, and it does get hindered a little bit. Now the torso here, 
believe it shifts up a tiny bit so you can get a little more movement out of that joint there as you can see he crunches forward that much goes back about that much but you do see huge gaps there you do get pretty damn good pivot and then it also swivels and then shift the joint back down and like i said the waist just swivels now for the arms here we do have a little butterfly joint so it can move forward and back a little bit so that's definitely good do you get a circular motion out of the arm i don't believe you do but you can get the arms out about 90 degrees which is definitely good they do go up and down you do have bicep swivel you do have double jointed elbows but they barely get 90 degrees that's the point of articulation i'm definitely not happy with and we do have a ball peg on the wrist so it does swivel and just moves just moves around a tiny bit eventually if you keep moving it it's going to pop off that kind of gets annoying but what can you do and then the pelt here is articulated so the side pieces can hinge out about that much and same with the back piece so they go out about 90 degrees then the legs they do shift down you can get broly to kick forward let's see about 90 degrees which is definitely good goes to the back almost 90 degrees let's see if he can jean-claude van damme it hopefully his leg won't fall off but it probably will and he definitely can jean-claude van damme it so that is definitely a big plus right there then you do get the upper thigh swivel or the hip swivel you do have single jointed knees that bend back about 90 degrees which is good enough and then there is no boot cut swivel but you do get a swivel at the ankle hinges up not too much at the ankle and then same with hinging down the up and down movement at the ankle is horrible but the pivot is beautiful you get excellent ankle pivot with this brawl here so overall the articulation is pretty good especially for it being a bulkier figure but some points i feel like they could have worked in much better but you'll be able to get them in some decent like broly poses and i'm about to show you some of them right about now but anyway, that is my review of the Figure Eye Standard Model Kit Dragon Ball Super Movie Version Broly. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure between a 1 through 10, I'd have to give it a 6.5. If you would like to know the price and where to get this model kit, I did get mine from Japan from Ami Ami, but my buddy from Ageless Geeks will be getting this in stock very, very soon. So you can check at agelessgeeks.com if you can't find it there. I would recommend going through their Instagram or Facebook page. I will put more information in the description below and if you would like to support the channel don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell and if you liked it feel free to give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it oh well i guess you didn't like it but thanks for watching i will see you later So we do get the basic style box when it comes to the figure brother. We do get the toy animation sticker on the bottom says Drake. Ah, move by that. Plastic model kit, not Dragon Ball, damn you.